Okay, come on. He's feeling much better today, but over the Christmas break, William Sanderson was so sick he had to visit an emergency department. It was eight hours in the waiting room and then pretty much four hours uh, uh, in the, uh, the hospital room itself. Sanderson says the Edmonton area hospital was packed with patients. Across the country in New Brunswick, a similar scene. Waiting room was packed. Um, there was people everywhere, all the way down the hall. A shortage of healthcare workers and a surge in respiratory virus cases are once again bringing the front lines of Canada's health system to its knees. Every person who waits in one way or another is suffering. I've seen wait times lead directly to people dying, including children. I have seen wait times leading to people lying with fractures for days on end. Most cities post ED wait times online. On Wednesday morning, major hospitals in Vancouver and Toronto were listing wait times of over eight and nearly seven hours. Calgary and Edmonton's largest hospitals listed between four and six hours. In Quebec, where emergency departments are tracked by capacity, 17 of the 20 emergency departments in the Montreal area were more than 100% full, three of those over 200%. Four years after the start of the pandemic, healthcare workers are still walking away faster than they can be replaced, leaving hospitals understaffed and vulnerable to a surge in patients seen every year because of the flu. That's why it's so urgent and why we're calling on all of the governments across the country to work really hard to increase class sizes, to promote team-based care so that we can share a lot of the work. In the short term, doctors say patients can help too by getting vaccinated and using emergency departments only when required. Hospitals are expected to remain very busy for several months to come. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.